<laughs> Just doing a bit of exploring today. Trying out some new spots. First cast, got a little smallie on a uh, 1 16th ounce black curly tail jig. <laughs> Chunky little 12 inch or so. <laughs> I'm running a number four Black Fury. Um, and I use the old trick of bouncing it off the concrete to create extra vibration. And this smallie nailed it. So I just like deflected the spinner off the concrete when I casted it. It landed right in the ripples. And this guy crushed it, man. Not an enormous fish, but decent. Cool. There we go, 15 inch smallie. Yeah, awesome. Oh boy. Something on the tube jig. <sighs> Something strong. Gotta make sure I got at least a halfway decent hook set. You just kind of started running with it. Often when they do that, they'll just fall off suddenly. Oh man. I don't know. I don't think this is a bass. Put it that way. 20 pound fish, somewhere around there. R real rough guess, but way above bass range, you know. Could be a carp, catfish, probably a carp, but could even be a muskie or... Something like that, but it's probably a carp. Whew, man. All I can say is I'm glad I'm not running four anymore. Whew, man, he is down and heavy. I can't budge him. Oh. Yeah. Not a fish to be forced. heavy he's going up <laughs> I'm pulling him kind of like diagonally downstream doesn't want to come though oh man oh heavy fish real heavy He's just sitting there. Can't budge him. Budge him a little, a couple inches at a time. Man, he's heavy. Oh, man. Don't want to break the line. Just fighting him. Hopefully he tires out. Nice slow battle. Oh, man. Yeah, he hasn't done yet, that's for sure. Not even close going upstream fighting this current and me and winning I think my arm tired Hopefully it doesn't cut me off on a rock. That happens sometimes when they get way out there. The line kind of gets at a low angle, starts touching rocks and stuff, and it's under a lot of tension and just, you know, gets sliced. Oh man, he is not want to be caught. There we go, turned ya. Yep. Big fish. Even when he's turned, he feels heavy. Getting you slowly. 
it's hard to kind of rest their bellies against the rocks and it becomes even harder to pull them up they sit against stuff and oh man big carp big something I'm guessing it's a carp might be a catfish you know the way he's fighting nice and far and down probably a carp but possibly a catfish take drag you just kind of stop and sit there oh my gosh that's a really heavy fish wow oh, there he goes he's moving downstream yeah, starting to get a little tired I think then again you know I've never really had carp not make circles and this one isn't making circles he's just kind of slowly moving up might be a big cat Maybe. Who knows though. My guesses aren't that great sometimes. It's really hard to tell when you just have a heavy fish on in the distance. If I just start moving back, he's kind of coming with me. So I'm going to have to get out of this water. I'm in like three feet of water right here at least. I'm up to my, my waist. Just about. Whew. Whatever he is, I got him on a little tube jig. Well, you know, not that little, but a few inches. Not a big one. You know, just kind of working it downstream like it was a crayfish, and this guy nailed it. Wow. Yeah, that's just the fish right there, because he's going forward. Man, he's heavy. At least he feels really heavy. Holy cow. He's unmovable. Look at him. I just can't... I can't even... I'm putting... As much stress on this eight pound test as I, as I dare. He's unmovable. Hopefully I can just start kind of easing him in here. Cause he's, he's starting to use the current to his advantage. He's being smart. Smart fish. Yep. Now he's doing what he should do. Just chugging downstream. Oh shoot, I lost a fish like this once. There he is surfacing a little. I got him on the surface. He's not even on the bottom and he's pulling this hard. Real strong fish. Getting a little desperate. I'm gonna slip on these rocks here. I better get over to the dry ones. I see him out there, he's kind of just wallowing. He's just that heavy. That's not even, he's on the surface and he's that heavy. That is crazy. Barely fighting and he's that heavy. Almost unmovable just by his own weight. Wow. I mean, he might just be a 20 pounder, but he might be much bigger. I've had some 20 pounders fight like their 40s, you know, once in a while. Like on that Murphy's trip, but man, I really want to get this guy in. Really want to. Come on towards me. Ooh. Maybe I'll just walk out there towards him. I guess, you know, this happened to me once two years ago where they just, one just went straight to the opposite bank, couldn't even, couldn't even budge him on six pound test. Not even a chance, you know, not even an inch. And then he just started chugging like this straight downstream and almost spooled me before the line just snapped or something. He cut me off on a rock or something. And I told myself if that ever happens again, I'm just gonna run down the river and go and wrestle him basically so hopefully this river gets shallow because i'm going swimming if i can here i at least want to see what he is you know kind of keep the line up at a higher angle so he doesn't cut me off on rocks as the river gets more shallow here like going in like weird little spirally circles it's kind of strange just want to see what you are the very least you know please just give me that chance it's right on the surface 
you know, if he is a catfish, he might not even be 20 pounds. That's for sure, because they just, you know, they fight so hard. They're all muscle. They always stay down, and they're real hard to move. All right, here's where I gotta be careful. He's getting close. He might just, you know, flash his tail once he sees me and then break me real quick. He's getting real close. 15 feet away, 20 feet, something like that. It's right there. Don't think that's a carp, is it? Can't tell. Got polarized glass on, there's a lot of glare still. What the heck is it? Did I foul hook a carp? Is that why it's so heavy? Oh, that makes sense. I forgot about foul hooking. Yeah, big carp. He's foul hooked, so he feels heavier. I think he's foul hooked. Is he? Yeah, good sized carp pretty big that's why he felt so heavy he's hooked right on the tail <laughs> see my tube bay on the tail there that makes a lot of sense all right he's not that big 15 to 20 pounds it looks like I can't really get a good look at him pretty long mid 30s low mid 30s low maybe Whoa, 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 okay. This is getting awkward. I'm just kind of chasing that carp downstream like that. Maybe if I go like this, kind of catch him. Kind of chasing him to the bank here, but the bank gets like deep. It's weird. <laughs> he just sees me, so he's swimming away. It's right there. I don't know if you can see him through the water. I got these glasses on. Got him lift you up here. Yeah, kinda wanna catch you. That'd be cool. There's my chance. Got ya. Cool. Got ya. Finally. That's why I felt so heavy. See he's not that big. He's good size, but yeah, he's I don't know. Probably like a 34 inch or so. There's my tube jig right on his tail. <laughs> I never even thought about that. Fell hooking. Completely forgot about it. And just kind of ripped the tube jig out because it's stuck in there good. But there he is. Little two or three inch pumpkin colored tube jig. <sighs> good sized carp. Not too fat, but it's probably at least 15 pounds. Might be, I don't know, I guess. 15 or at the most 18 pounds maybe 18 pounds somewhere around there 33 34 inches probably let him go here there he goes swimming away cool that was crazy glad the jig didn't pop that would have bugged me for a while if i didn't know what that was there we go Probably a smallie. Just working that tube through those um, that those riffles made by the, the bridge abutment. Yeah, not that big. Another 12 inch or so around there. Maybe 11. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, probably an 11 inch. -er. Not very big smallie. <laughs> Just a little guy on the tube. There you go. There's a little bass on the beetle spin. Over by the lip here. There he is. Peanut butter and jelly jig on a beetle spin. <laughs> 